Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. I'm so excited to bring this video to you today. It's part of a light up hop with the Craft Collabs group, and you've seen me hop along with them before, but today I'm actually sponsoring the event. So as you hop along with us, there are a bunch of light up cards that I think will inspire you. There's some really cool ones. Um, as you hop along, make sure that you leave comments and you'll be entered for your chance to win a five pack of Easy Lights for yourself. All the details and rules are down below. So let's go ahead and get started on this card. Now I have gone ahead and pre-cut most of my pieces here. I used the Making Faces die from iCrafter to cut out the, the heads for my card. And then to make the lights, I just grabbed some random shapes. Uh, they all happen to come from this Animalope set, but just, just check your stash to see what you've got. I used the uh, Carly alphabet here to cut out the hashtag zoom and when I cut those out I just put them all on a strip of tape and cut them all out at the same time and store the extras in the pocket. Now I cut that scripty word party from some black glitter paper that's a heffy doodle stamp and then or I'm sorry a heffy doodle die and then I did use a heffy doodle stamp that says push here um, and I stamped that on that little circle there. Now um, you see all of my dies, I'm kind of keeping track of them here on this memo tape from Heffy Doodle. A lot of times I'll use a dish, but when I have little pieces with words, that Heffy tape is fantastic. So for the frame of my card, I went ahead and I cut out the glitter card stock and then two pieces of fun foam and also one of the larger rectangles. Uh, that's a lawn fawn die set there. In addition, I've got a couple more pieces of pattern paper. I have an A2 size piece of acetate, as well as vellum. And then I also have my card base here. It's just a, a yellow card base. To light up the card, we're gonna use Easy Lights. I just need one for this project. That's a five pack there. I've also got some clear thread and some little uh, sequins for the shaker parts. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is prep the heads. Now I've cut them out ahead of time and I colored them all in with Copic markers. That's kind of like my cheater way of doing no line coloring because if you have die cut pieces, you have hard edges, uh, but you don't have a black outline. So I think it's kind of fun. And I color these a lot of times for the uh, 30 day coloring challenge, which just is, it's fun and relaxing. Um, so I've gone ahead and colored them and then glued the pieces together and then now I'm gonna put some of that clear thread on the back of each little head. So I just cut a couple inches off and then I'll kind of lay it across the back of the head. And then I've got some, uh, this is score tape, it's double sided. You do not need to use double sided tape. I just had it handy and it's nice and thin. So I'm, I'm gonna use that just to kind of hold that piece of thread down, but I'm not gonna peel off the release paper. So you can use scotch tape, washi tape, whatever you've got. But basically, you're just going to tape it to the back there. And you can see how the head will dangle. And then that will allow it to kind of bobble around inside our shaker. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other three heads. And once I've got those all done, they're ready for our windows. So I need to prep um, the lamp. The, the lamp shades here. And what I wanted to do for the circle one is run it through my paper crimper. Do you remember these? <laughs> I have that from way back. Uh, but when you like run a circle through there, it kind of looks like a paper lantern. So I thought that would be fun to pair up with our little, little hipster dude here in that window. And then um, let's talk about the sandwich for the card itself. So our top layer is going to be the gold glitter cardstock frame. Then we'll have the acetate layer, one layer of foam, then the vellum, and then the second layer of foam, and then our pattern paper and card base. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, the glitter paper ready to stick the acetate down. You want that directly down and that's going to be the windows right behind your glitter cardstock there. So I've gone ahead and put some of that score tape all the way around. I'm going to peel off the release paper and then here's where I almost make a mistake. I grabbed my acetate and I almost stuck it down, but I forgot I need to cut out the rectangle at the bottom corner there, that, that bigger rectangle on the bottom panel. So before I stick it down, I'm just going to quickly line it up and um, on the back side there. And then I'm gonna just kind of mark through with a Sharpie just in the corners so that I know where to trim my acetate. 
and I'll bring in my trimmer and I apologize my um desk is shrinking <laughs> I don't know if the if I'm the only one or um, if your desk shrinks as you work too but I was kind of off camera there um, so I just went ahead and trimmed the little rectangle out of my acetate here. Now I basically have an L-shaped piece of acetate and I wish I would have thought ahead and cut the vellum at the same time because I almost do the same thing again. <laughs> you are going to want to trim out that rectangle from both the acetate and the vellum. So once I've got it stuck down, you can see I've got three windows and then a hole. This, this is like a broken window pane here, which is perfect. That's what I want there. And then now we can stick down the first layer of foam and I've gone ahead and stuck some more adhesive on that. I do like double stick tape when you're working with plastics or acetates just because it grabs it really well. Um, I don't find that wet glues hold very well and sometimes they you know slip around and it gets messy. So I like the double stick tape when I'm dealing with acetate. And now we can kind of figure out where we want the heads in the windows and then get them in place. So I am gonna grab more of this little double stick tape here, and I'm gonna have the, the first head, he's draped over in, in the window, roughly where I want him, and the um, string is hanging off either side of the foam. So I'm just gonna lock that string down with that double stick tape, and I've kind of moved the head up after I tape the top down just so that I have some wiggle room, some slack in that line. That's what allows the head to kind of wiggle back and forth. If you have it too tight, the head's not going to move. So you, you can um, just play with it and see what, what works best for you, how much wiggle you want. And then we can go ahead and stick our lamp in the corner. So I'm going to trim off one corner there or one side so I can um, fit them in there or fit the lantern in there without them hanging off the edge. And I'm just using more of that double stick tape to grab it. You could use wet glue for that part. I do suggest using the double stick tape for the heads, and I'll show you why in just a second here. But see how he fits there? That works nice. Now here's where the double stick tape is important. Um, I have the ends of that clear string, and I wanna just kind of fold it back over onto the other side of the double stick tape. So I'm peeling off the paper, folding the or the release paper, folding the thread back onto itself a little bit there, and then kind of down the channel a little bit, and then I'll just trim off the extra. That really locks that thread in place so it can't accidentally fall out. And then I did the same thing with my other two windows. Got my lamps in place, got my heads in place, and now I'm just gonna add a couple of sequins to each little window. Because there is only one layer of fun foam, I. I don't have a ton of room for wiggling around in there, so I have just a, a, a small amount of sequins. They're all pretty flat, and I'm kind of spreading them out so that there's not gonna be a big lump of them and then they wouldn't move. Um, so spread them out beforehand. It just takes a minute to kind of, you know, get them, get them lined up, and, and that way you're gonna have a, a better shaker. And then I added some glue around the edges, and you saw I almost, did the same thing with my vellum again. <laughs> Remember to cut out that little corner. We want to cut that window out because our light is going to go in that little pocket and then the, um, and so you need that double thickness of foam there with a, a hole around the frame um, so that, that we can stick the battery for the lights underneath there. You'll see in a minute, but you do want to cut out the, um, the hole for both the vellum and the acetate. So once I trim that out, just like I did with the acetate, I can stick it in place. Luckily, that Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive stays wet for a long time. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and um, got that in place. Then I'm going to bring in my scotch tape, and you can't see it really, but I did go around the frame again on top of the vellum with more of that um, eighth inch score tape. And then I'm going to bring in my easy lights. If you haven't seen these before, they're really simple. They come in different packages. That one was a pack of five. You um, stick the battery in and press the little purple button. Easy peasy. It's, it's like a really, like a flat flashlight. Um, at the end of each wire, there's three wires and three lights. So at the end of each wire is the light. If you um, 
look at it from the front, you can see there's a yellow dot. That's where the light comes out of. If you flip it over, you see the wires on the back. So just be aware of which direction you want your light to point when you're taping it down. But other than that, it's, it's really simple to use. So I peeled away all of the release paper for my score tape there. And so that's around the whole perimeter of the frame there. And I'm just going to kind of stick my first light in place. And it, it grabbed onto the um, tape at the edge there, but where, the, where it's kind of sticking down, I'm going to put just a little piece of scotch tape just to make sure that my light doesn't shift around. And then I can bring those wires kind of down the, the frame, the track of the frame there. And then I'll do the same thing with the second light, again grabbing it with the uh, double stick tape that's exposed and then taping it down. And then I'm just running those wires down the channels there. You don't want them to kind of poke out behind the vellum, but because it's vellum, you wouldn't see it. So you don't have to be like super precise, but I'm just trying to make it clean here. And I did grab my tweezers and I found that my tweezers kind of helped me uh, fold the wires just a little bit. And I'm, I'm being careful not to fold them really sharp creases and you don't want to pull too hard and accidentally break a wire. Um, but just kind of working them down there. And also the tweezers help my fingers stay out of the stickiness. So I'm going to grab the third light here and stick it in place. And you have about seven inches of wire for each light. So that's plenty of room to get around cards, scrapbook pages, whatever you're working on there. And I'll tape it in place. And again, just kind of get this last one down the channel here. All three of my wires kind of meet up down in the center here. And we'll just have them kind of hanging out here. Now, before I stick it down, I want to test it and make sure that the lights are where I want them to be. And you can see that the one on the bottom there, the light's kind of too far down. I wanted it to be poking out just at the edge of that the little lampshade there. So I'll pull it up and adjust it as needed. It's no big deal. And again, um, I will bring in my tweezers because the tweezers kind of help me move those uh, wires along the sticky stuff there. And just kind of tuck them in so that they're not hanging out the back. And then one more test, make sure that I'm happy. And already, I love it. I love how this is coming along. So now we can go ahead and um, grab our next piece of foam and stick that down. Remember, I've already got adhesive all the way around the frame there, so it's gonna just lock in place right on top of those guys. And you can, you know, move it around a little bit if you need to. So now we've got the second layer of foam and then we can bring in our little pattern paper pieces to kind of back each one of those windows. It's kind of like a wallpaper behind them. And the vellum does soften it a lot because the uh, pattern would be too strong right up on their heads. The other thing about having the vellum back there or in between is that with the layer of foam, um, you're going to have some dimension between both the uh, pattern paper and the vellum. And that creates kind of like a little shadow box for the light to bounce around in, in there so that it kind of just lightens up or, or lights up the whole room. So I just trim the pattern paper pieces to fit behind each of those little windows. Easy peasy, sealing it off. And again, you have that, that piece of foam between the vellum and the pattern paper to um, add some dimension and let the light bounce around in there. Now, I have to tell you, this card was inspired by my friend Ardith, who's also hopping along with us today. When you get to her card, you're going to be completely wowed. It's so cool. She sent me a little sneak peek of it, and it inspired me to make this card. Um, she lit up some boxes. Really, really cool. You're going to have to check that out. Okay, so back to the card here. I'm just gluing that frame to my card base. I'm not worried about the battery just yet. We'll take care of that in a second, but I want to make sure everything is lined up. And because I did use wet glue this time, I'm going to just put a block over it to let it dry. And while it's drying, we'll go ahead and glue together the sentiment onto that piece of pattern paper that I had cut to fit that window. Um, and I'm just going to lay out my little word um, Right now, everybody's doing Zoom parties. I'm hosting Crafternoon every week on Zoom, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I thought this would be kind of a, a, a fun card to share right now. It's kind of 
perfect for the times and a good way to to spread joy while we're all stuck at home. So I have uh, just grabbed my my PVA glue. I like PVA glue for paper to paper. It dries really fast. It dries faster than the Nouveau and it's also matte. So if anything kind of seeps out, you won't see it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use those tweezers again. Those locking tweezers, those new ones from iCrafter are really cool. I have the, um, the EK Success ones, which I use a lot, but there's a, a wider paddle on these new uh, tweezers here from iCrafter and it holds nice and tight. So I'm, I'm just loving these tweezers. So anyhow, just if you're needing tweezers, those are pretty cool. <laughs> um, so with my words in place, I did not glue down the, the push here yet because I wanna make sure that I line it up with my button. Remember the purple button at the edge of our little battery pack there, that's the actual switch that you push. So I wanna kind of make sure that I line that up so that it's it's kind of centered underneath the the opening in party between the the uh, the tail of the p and the y there's kind of like a little circle there so i want to get it lined up so that my push here can fit right there and that's where i want it um i did use a half inch wide like double stick tape on the back of my power pack there too or the easy light sorry um, so once I got that in place, I'll glue my button down and then now to kind of fortify the edges of my rectangle, I'm going to use some of this double thick foam. This stuff is awesome. It's already double, um, and it has a great release paper that just peels right off. So I love this stuff. There's no fighting with it. So I just kind of put it all over the place, peeled back the release paper and stuck the sentiment down. Isn't that cool? This actually came together pretty quickly. And like I said, I was inspired by artists, so it was uh, just like it, it all came together fast. Normally cards like this take me a little bit more time to plan out, and, and I love this card. <laughs> um, I did decide I wanted to finish it off real quick with a couple more sequins right on the uh, sentiment panel just to kind of bring it in from everywhere else. But that wraps up this card. Don't forget that today's video is part of a hop. And as you hop along with us, you're going to be inspired by a lot of really cool light up cards. And leave comments so that you can be entered for your chance to win. You can win a five pack of Easy Lights for yourself. They are a ton of fun to play with. And I've got links down below to the next stop in the hop. I've got a link to my blog and all the different products that I used. Uh, you can find more information about Easy Lights and then all of the contest details. So make sure you comment by the, the days that are listed down below so that um, we can get you entered. If you're new to my channel, feel free to press subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified whenever I put out new cards. I do lots of interactive cards. Once you're done hopping, feel free to come on back and check out some more fun videos. As always, my friend, thanks for watching.